So it's finally time for an honest attempt with the Red Devil. Last time, and I said this in the last video, I chose to do the TOD 23 first because it had a higher fire rate. And I like being able to spew bullets, or in this case, explosive rounds, like a fire hose. And the TOD 23 let me do that pretty well. So we're going to see how the Red Devil holds up. I definitely like the look of this thing better. Wow, this is a very unique looking weapon. Uh, I feel slower. I don't know why I feel slower when I'm running with it. I know the TOD-23 took up a lot more space on the screen when I was running. Maybe that... Maybe the way that it moved made me feel like I was moving faster. He seemed to run with it as if he was really trying to get somewhere fast. Eh, yeah, this thing's actually... What? Oh, I'm on the red team. What am I doing? Let me see that reload animation. I like the bolt. You were losing me until you did the bolt thing. Oh my god, it explodes. Oh my god, it explodes. I don't know what I was expecting. Hello, red team member. I'm not shooting you, I promise. I don't know what I was expecting on the demolisher, but I didn't realize that this exploded, because listen, this just sounds like a semi-automatic rifle. Oh god, he's right there. So I'm going to reserve, I'm going to reserve judgment, but so far I'm digging this thing actually even more than the TOD-23, and that's saying something, because the TOD-23 took its spot as my second favorite secondary for the Demolisher after the Sixth Surprise. And in case you guys haven't noticed, I am still sick. This is very much being recorded right after the previous episode, so I apologize for that. I do sound very different, I'm aware. Uh, I'm very stuffy. My nose is in a weird state where it is both running and stuffed up at the same time, but I can, I can handle it. I'm gonna be a big boy, and I'm not gonna complain about it anymore for this entire video. You watch. You mark my words. Let's go find people to kill with this thing. I chose to be on the Axis side this time around because I, w I was tired of getting spawn camped, and I wanted to do the spawn camping instead. But I can't find anyone. There's my teammate. I think he's just, like, picking them off from over here. So I'm going to join him up on the roof. Oh, come on now. Rocket jump. It'd be cool if there was a gun that actually reduced the cooldown time on your rocket jump. I don't know if there is one. What is this guy doing? <laughs> what? What in the... Oh, that was... A oh, he was using a jetpack. <laughs> That's really funny. You know, after all this time of playing Blitz Brigade, how many episodes in are we? I haven't seen anybody... Uh, I'm on the red team. Evan, stop it. I haven't seen anybody using the jetpack from like a third person perspective. I've only ever seen myself use it. Freaking David, man. That guy is like a monster. He's like the only guy on the other team, besides Light Eternity. Is Light Eternity? No, he's on my team. He is the only guy on the other team, and he's giving us a run for our money. This is a small match. How am I supposed to accurately test this weapon if I don't have people to test it on? Huh, game? Riddle me that, Maltadox. Hey, yo, David, I'm calling you out. David, if you're watching this in the future, why, aren't you sh why haven't you shown up yet? Why didn't you show up back now? And here we go again with the whole YouTube is a paradox of time thing. I can speak to you both in the present and in the future. Wait, hold on. I can speak to you in the future and in the past. I don't even know. Videos are weird. I am this close. I know you can't see my fingers, but I'm holding up two fingers right now, and they're really close together. I am this close to leaving this game and trying to find another one. Because David doesn't want to cooperate. So let's go find him. I think David left. Kind of stinks that I gotta be on the Allies' side again, because it is very easy to get trapped in this spawn. More so than it is on the Axis side. The Axis side has way more obstacles. Oh, I didn't even see that guy! Heavens to one shot, one kill. The only thing that's holding this weapon back is probably the six rounds in the clip. Otherwise, I love this weapon. Here we are. It's funny, I spawned into the next round. Exactly where I left off on the previous one. Oh god, he sees me. Backing up. That's what I gotta learn to do. You know what? That's what I do when I play first-person shooters on consoles. I need to learn to do that on uh, Blitz Brigade as well. If I don't think I can win a fight, I have to learn to back out of it. Because I do it in I do it in things on Call of Duty and the Elk on consoles. You know, like I'm not gonna sit there and lose a fight if I have if I can live to fight another day. But in Blitz Brigade, I tend to just kind of stick it out and see if I can deal damage. Which is not what you should do! I mean, just in general, not even within the genre, not even in strictly arena shooters. You just need to run away. Anytime you don't think you can win a fight, you just need to leave. 
So right now, my tentative judgment is that I like this weapon. I like the Red Devil a little bit more than the TOD-23. Packs a lot of punch. The fire rate difference is almost negligible. I need to get myself on a roof. And I like the reload animation just the easiest bit more because it's got the bolt. See? That's the part that I like. I love that part. I'm a sucker for unnecessary little bits of animation like that or exagger- Oh god, I'm gonna die here. Not if I run away! Oh my goodness, let me just take my advice from like 20 seconds ago and leave. See, look at that. Living to fight another day. With the help of medicine. This is literally my situation in real life. Looking at you, Dayquil. I just injected a whole bunch of Dayquil. Ah, I missed the sprint button. I always do that. I always think that I'm touching the sprint button and then I end up not... And I don't go anywhere with the rocket jump. I always think that that thing is a person. Every time I walk by it. That happened in my last video too. Nope, I'm walking down here. Drumhammer! What are you doing? Get out of here. And I'm noticing that all the honest, honest attempts so far have been for the Demolisher. Have they been for the Demolisher? I think they have all been for the Demolisher so far, unless I'm forgetting one. I could be mistaken, but I... No, yeah, they've all been for the Demolisher so far. If you guys have a... If you guys want to see a weapon done in one of these videos, freaking the Nebula, get out of here. Every single video, I swear. If you guys want to see a gun reviewed on Honest Attempts, please let me know in the comments section below. I still have several diamonds to spend, so if you want, I could purchase it, and I could give you my honest opinion on it. Try my best with it. Give it a rating out of nine Fulgors. That part is necessary. That's non-negotiable. Uh, this is the part where I die. I just illustrated what it would be like to have the worst superpower in the world, being able to predict your own death. That'd be... It's the worst superpower ever. I would hate to have that. Although many people would call that common sense. I don't know what I'm on about. I like the Red Devil. This gun's pretty sweet, I guess. Oh, you're leaving, are you? Um, come on now. There we go. Man, that took some, that took some doing. Alright, well, we've got 54 seconds left in this game. My day quill's wearing off. So I'm going to give this thing a single rubber duck out of nine full gores. Make of that what you will. Alright, everybody, thank you so much for watching this episode. I really like this weapon, so if you don't have enough to get the 6 Surprise or the Q27 Predator, get the Red Devil. Have a good one.